You can look at me while we're talking. Yeah. All right, so um, I guess just talk about, um, you know, the final minutes of that sectional final game. Uh, when you knew you had it in hand, the final buzzer rings. Uh, the whole thing afterwards, you get to go out. McKenzie grabs the, the, the trophy, brings it back to the team, cutting down the nets. That whole experience, I mean, just talk about that for your second year in a row, kind of going through that. I mean, especially this year, you know, with Kenzie being my, this is my fourth year here, and Kenzie being my first girl I've seen through from freshman to senior. You know, it's definitely, you know, a closer bond than I've had with, with other players in the past. Uh, especially since you only have one, it's someone that is as dedicated as she is to, to any sport, whether it be basketball, volleyball, softball. I mean, whatever she's in, she's, she's all in. Uh, you know, she's a great kid. She works hard, great, great student. Uh, and all the kids look up to her. I mean, she's not as talented as, you know, some of the girls on our team, whether it's, you know, Seidel or Gansky or Shields, but even those girls look up to her because of her, her work ethic, her attitude, and just the ability that she's always going to go up there and give her her best. Talk about her leadership on the floor, because it seems like there haven't been very many times at the games that I've been at that you guys have been, like, in real serious trouble or anything like that, but... You know, I think she's a calming force. She works so hard and she's so aggressive on defense, even on the boards for being a smaller player. Uh, just talk about that a little bit, uh, just her tenacity. Um, yeah, I mean, when, when Lauren Fetch was a senior here, I stuck Kenzie with her. I'm like, you are to, to be with Lauren as much as you can, uh, just to try and get whatever you can through osmosis and, you know, just hanging around here and just get that, that winning mentality. And it's definitely translated. We're starting to see just that edge, that... Uh, that killer, that killer, you know, that you can't describe, you know, what Lauren has had and now Kenzie have as well too. It's just that, that ability to go out there and get the job done no matter what it takes. Uh, it's going to be very tough to, you know, it's tough to replace Lauren and it's tough to replace all of our seniors here. Uh, but just what Kenzie brings, you know, the stuff that you can't coach, the stuff that you don't see in the books, whether it's saying solid screens, whether it's getting on the floor after loose balls, whether it's just hustle all together, it, it's tough to replace that. And, and you know, and that's why she's probably looked up to the most on this team. Is there anything about her to give us a sense of, about what type of person she is when she's off off the court? The girls gave some some good examples of just different goofy things that that she does. I mean, when you coach girls, I mean, you can. You, you have to be able to expect anything, uh, whether it's, I'm sure you probably heard about the whole vitamin gummy story yes. before each game, uh, just some of the, the, the goofball stuff that they do, whether it's, you know, in club sports together, you know, they play club sports together with, with Shields, uh, they play softball together with Julia Seidel, uh, they're just, some of the, the antics that you hear, it's just like, why? Why do they do that to to have fun and stay loose and you know that's why they're such a good team they're always having fun they're always loose together and they're they're, they're not playing for the name on the back they're playing for their friends and for the name on the front of the jersey they kind of mentioned that um mackenzie is sort of you know they said they, she gets everybody hyped she's like the biggest cheerleader is that can you think of any specific examples of her doing things to get the team kind of up for games or after games or whatever uh, i'm not sure I mean, she, she definitely has a, a, a huge role in that, but in getting hyped, I think that's more of Lauren Shields. Uh, Lauren always does this whole where she'll scream in a very high-pitched, shrill voice. Uh, she'll be like, get hyped, and she'll do that. Uh, uh, some of the weird things that Kenzie has done, Kenzie actually bit Lauren Shields during a, a drill once. Or actually, no, Lauren Shields, Lauren Shields bit, bit Kenzie. And uh, so we call Lauren Shields Fido as well, too, like, like a dog. So they're just, they're goofy. I mean, they're teenage girls. <laughs> what can you expect with them? You expect the unexpected. Is it, is it important to kind of keep that, that all into perspective as you're going on? You know, you're going to the biggest stage, and, like, obviously you want to prepare well and you want to be focused and all that kind of stuff, but you also don't want to lose your personality probably along the way. Yeah, I mean, it's just important for, you know, you step on this big stage. I think part of the problem was last year, you know, we lost that ability to go out there and have fun. We were caught up in the spotlight from the first time. You know, some of these girls have been there before with the volleyball girls, but first time being back there for basketball in quite some time. And hopefully we can go back out there and have some more fun there this year and play our game and enjoy the time. Perfect.